season, and game number two is set to go. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. This is what you're playing for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Along the half wall with the puck. And we got a stoppage in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot. Whoa. It used to be that saying, they don't make them like they used to. James, well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger and a blistering shot. You know that it's going to crack or spider the glass. But nowadays, you can just replace the pane. So we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. He was locked in there. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Barack's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Moscow's got possession here in their own end. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. Centering feed, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here comes the official's call. Well, he's going to sit two minutes for the slashing call here as he's hacks and whacks his way to the box. I mean, this is a deserved penalty. Everyone saw it. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Moscow's got the puck against the boards. Quick feed down low. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Now, this is a tough one to take. He is such a huge part of this team. You know that at a critical juncture of the game, he typically cashes in and the entire team responds alongside of him. Not this time. The goalie makes a great save. Poked away in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Fadoon. Still any... as we look at this last save this looks uncomfortable stretching your body finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save that's what he did and that's why the save was made still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark we've still got zeros on the board puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone pokes it away to stay on the attack scores and that's his first goal of the postseason ever and he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this and it winds up in the back of the net. The Pete strike first here in the opening frame. A relatively early goal to here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't. But it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead. So that's a nice way to start the game. Takes the feed. That goes up eight. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. A 
Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. The Pete's moving in. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Here in the late goings of the period, St. Petersburg's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. Wilson's won a big draw on their own end. Was taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here's the official call. The Peets are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. The Knights once again send out their power play unit. Well, James, if they can work that puck up high, when you're quarterbacking that power play, you can have eyes on either side. You can see the lanes in net, you can drive the puck, or you can pass for a one-timer off the side. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Wilson's got it against the boards. Drops the puck away. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Moscow is going to have to work quickly here on this man advantage if they hope to strike. Taken down, and the officials caught it. And they're going to be shorthanded once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. And with that call, it's a brief five-on-three man advantage here. A short five on three here, James, that you know that they're going to crash the net. They've got to get it on their stick, off their stick, and they've got to crowd the front. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Here comes the sentence. Seekoff's called for tripping. He's off to the box. <laughs> Moscow salivating with a five-on-three power play. On a five-on-three, sometimes the puck movement along the outside is too slow. You have to have perfect timing with that. It can be too fast as well. If you're going to work the... Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Moscow's look way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Fadoon. Grabs the puck in the corner. Hard hit, frees up the puck. St. Petersburg's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Moscow's won it. Takes it at center. Moscow's not able to capitalize on the power. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've shown throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot, pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. 
Moscow's been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James, to be able to get the equalizer. You can see the excitement on the bench. That's gonna provide a lot of energy in the second period. St. Petersburg's got it along the wall. Gets a piece of it, and will play on. I don't think he had time to get his head out of the way, and that one hits his mask. You gotta give it to the quality of mask nowadays. If that happened a few years ago, ooh, that would hurt even more. Big save in front. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Whoa! Oh, that's an intangible effort that he scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. Moscow's taken a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Great poke check on the reach. Back to the point it goes. To the most line, scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Way mark of this period. We got a tie game. Moscow's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. From the neutral zone now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Refs arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Handles the puck. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I think this is a pretty easy call. I mean, you can't get in the way of someone without the puck and impede on their forward movement. Special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Scores! Pop it! What is possible? What a shot! That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? James, a top shutter shot that just sends the water bottle assailant. Power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck. If you don't possess it, you can't score. But it comes right off of the faceoff. And how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want and then you convert? Beautiful play all the way around. St. Petersburg strike late here in period number two. What a huge momentum lifter for them. And I don't know if they'll want the intermission, James, because you can certainly feel their temperature rising, can't you? It's when you feel that certain something coming at you. It's like a wave and they have it right now. St. Petersburg's through center and now in the offensive end. Slittering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. St. Petersburg's been dominating the pace of play all night, and Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. It's been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we've got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. Oh, much respect as he clocks that one. Picking up some steam at center ice. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. 
Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Moscow's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's term, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Knocks the puck loose. Rips it on net. Makes the save with the glove. The pizza in transition. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Roy. St. Petersburg's got it now. With the stop. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. You got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. And the puck clears the zone. From the top of the offensive zone here. And he takes the feed. He's got a little jump. All alone. Great save. Moves the puck along the half wall. Unable to reach that one. Takes the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Right in front. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Sends the feed in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Here's a shot. Glove save. The point you can do things like this and send it high over the net. Chance in front. And that's stopped. And he cuts up big again. Take it along the wing. Here's an odd man rush. The point up. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. The Knights desperately needed something and they finally made it happen. Now they're in the final frame here, but they got one back. And you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency and they're a dangerous team right now. Can't pull the trigger. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the goaltender at the bench. Let's see what the officials say. Really tough call to take. I mean, it's the end of the third period. You're down by a goal. You've got to find a way to generate some offense, and now you wind up shorthanded. won the face off deep in their own end. Trying to get it out of danger. Good solid check and he loses control of it. The Pete's carried along the wall. And he takes the feed. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Moscow's got the puck at the defensive end. You know, this is a tale of two hockey teams right now, Cheryl. At one end of the ice, this is a team that has elevated their game into the postseason, and another that just doesn't seem ready for prime time right now. Right, and you got to give a lot of credit to the team that's up by two, right? I mean, they've got a two-game series lead here, and it's all because of the way they've played. They've really put their opponent on their heels. Now if they can get a three-game lead, I mean, you know, this is almost as good as over. She's Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us then. See you.